Good morning. Good morning. So October is Stewardship Month. Um, our pastor, Charlene Hill, has written a letter which has gone out, and if you have not received it yet, you will. The theme is gratitude, and our biblical text and re is Second Thessalonians, um, chapter five, verses sixteen through eighteen. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Keep things thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And if you will notice, Joe has reminded us the first words of this text, rejoice always. So we now have rejoice in front of us. Thank you, Joe. Also, we want to thank Joe for the lovely flowers that help our sanctuary look beautiful. <clears throat> now, being a contemporary person, when I knew that I needed to kick off this thing called gratitude, I went to Zoom and I typed in gratitude. Now, I, did, I skipped a lot of them, but I took the biblical one. And here is what Zoom says gratitude is. Gratitude is a positive response to experiencing God's goodness and grace. Once you realize that God is working in you, you'll, you'll show grat gratefulness in how you live. That's a pretty good definition of gratitude. As many of you know, I serve on the church council and for the last six months have been sharing property. Now, we often talk about church work, and sometimes there's more work than at other times. If you only come for Sunday worship and sit in the sanctuary and go into the fellowship hall, you don't realize how big our building is. Do you know that we have 10 toilets in this complex? And believe me, each one has had some problem in the last six months. Just keeping this complex clean is a major endeavor. Now, you know, in our wisdom, the council, a few years ago, invited a daycare center to come join us. It seemed like a good idea. We had a lot of space. They needed space. But we didn't realize it. we brought in a highly regulated business into an old, well, I won't say decrepit, but into an old building that needs a lot of work. So both the congregation and the daycare center, Tawana Burns, have put money and effort into improving the building. When you go over for birthday cake, Please notice the fellowship hall floor. It was just redone this past week. And please, take care. Don't move tables and chairs and scratch it up. Let's keep it as good as possible for a while. So I have to admit that when I think of my work as chair of property, gratitude is not the first thing that comes to my mind. Okay? If any of you would like to help, please let me know. But if I adopted the way of the world, which I am sometimes tested, te tempted to do, with a lot of complaining and a lot of griping, um, actually one, week, one night last week, I was awake at 2.30 in the morning and I woke up my husband and told him all the things that needed to be done and all of the people who were complaining and on and on and on. And he said, well, you know, we don't have to stay in this church. Well, that's true. Although the more we talked, we decided, okay, we can figure this out and we can handle it. So how do I become, show gratitude? There's a text that I particularly like in Colossians that reminds me why I do this and why we all do this. Because I'm not the only one who's working hard. All, a, lot, a number of folks sitting among us who are also taking on extra responsibilities. But 
Colossians 3:12 says, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you. So you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which holds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of God rule in your heart, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word and deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. My gratitude is instilled through my participation in our worship, where we read the scriptures and are reminded of the saints who have gone before and who have testified to God's presence in their lives. We listen to glorious music that Joe and all of our singers offer to us. And most of all, we see one another and we worship together and we care for one another. And that's how we learn what gratitude means and then are called to express that gratitude in gratefulness, in generosity. And it's also the ministries of this church that, you know, I've gotten old, so I'm not out there doing as much good as I maybe could be, but through the ministries of this church, we care for the hungry. We hope at times to feed those who need to be fed. Through our advocacy in our local church and other denom in our denominational connections, we advocate for justice and for peace. So through our worship, through coming together, we're reminded of the goodness of God and the importance of the witness of this church, and we learn gratitude, and we have the opportunity to practice gratitude. Amen. Amen.